The Chiefs were sitting nicely on top of the New Zealand Conference. Another strong win on the road in Week 8 against the Cheetahs. Mo Schwalger and Sam Kane both were promoted to the starting side. The Sharks finally returned home after four matches on the road. The home side enjoyed a strong win over the Blues to keep themselves in contention for a playoff spot. In a major boost, Bismarck Duplessis returned to hooker after overcoming neck and leg issues. Kerbalo probing around the fringes. And the pass out for Tikori Rotuma. Slips the one tackle. The tackle of Jacques Bortis dislodges the ball. They are so, so dangerous on the counter. The Chiefs... Clark from a standing start. Schwalger quickly over the ball. Then Retallick. Backwards. Back it pops for Kerbalo. Had a look to the short side. Then almost finding a way under the Sharks' defence. Dale Chadwick. Calling defenders over to that blind side. Willison for Cruden. Aaron Cruden will waltz in. For his first try of the season. Cruden. For Yun well positioned. 10 metres. And Louis Ludic has played everyone on side and has made the tackle on Kerbana. Good counter act from the Sharks as well. Playing advantage. Well, Less than two minutes to play. Penalty advantage. Very kickable. Chadwick. Beautiful pick up from Daniel and Dismark Duplessis back to the inside. And then Daniel for McLeod, he's lost it forward. And a perfect strike at his first attempt of the evening. The Chiefs let the home side back in the match with poor discipline. The smart Duplessis wants the ball. Support from Chadwick. Another great tackle from Sam Kane. Ludic. 12! Number 12, no clear release. It's against Sonny Bill Williams. He made the tackle. Didn't release before contesting the ball. Is that going to curl in? Yes! Peterson to his left. Hands beautifully through the tackle, but that's a massive hit on Jacques Wurtis from August Pulu. Lambie is away. And Mbobo. Very tight to the touchline and just an arm in touch before he lost contact with the ball. Got to start attacking, get a bit more width on the ball. Pulu, excellent hoist onto Mvobo. Oh, no arms at all. <laughs> Off the back went Messam, and then Sonny Bill Williams. Play on, hit the ball. And carry up from Kane. Now Kahui. Leaving, leaving your feet over a rut. He's nailed it and uh, regardless of what happened before, never great to hear the crowd taking out their frustration on a goal kicker. Good clean out from the shots. Front football for the back line. Bossman with a cutout pass. A little reshuffle has taken place in the back line as well with uh, JP Peterson shifting back to the wing in the absence of Uwazi and Bobo. Chiefs have been caught offside here. Penalty advantage for the Sharks. And JP Peterson with a little show of the ball then driven back by Hika Elliott. Patrick Lambie. and handsome and the Sharks have clawed their back within one. 
With time up and the Sharks still in reach, the Chiefs continued to attack. And Hika Elliott firmly in control at the back of the ball. Yep. Final hooter has sounded. Yes, it is. And Pulu breaking to the short side. What a finish! The Chiefs getting home in a tight one. Replacement scrum half Augustine Pulu scoring the try after the final hooter to put the result beyond doubt. Aaron Cruden also got over. The Sharks' only points coming from the boot of Lambie. The Sharks missed more tackles and were made to pay. It was a grind in Durban, the Chiefs making the most of their opportunities to remain on top of the Super Rugby table. We're working a bit better as a team, I think. We're, uh, we're working for each other a bit more, um, sort of getting off the deck and, um, and just getting a good line in place. It seems to be working. No, we just didn't finish, you know. We played low rugby and the 22 you know, started off well, so I thought at the start of the first half and the start of the second half we dominated quite a bit and we just couldn't convert, so... Like we'll all be disappointed when we look back at this game and you know our consistency is letting us down. So the Brumbies brave in defeat but still picking up two vital bonus points and sit on top of the Australian Conference. The Waratahs now clear of the Reds who sit third with just 21 points. The force with the bye move to 17 points and the Rebels anchor the conference. The Chiefs lead in New Zealand after their grinding win. The Highlanders sit second, while the Crusaders and Hurricanes are hot on their heels. Easily the closest conference. And the Stormers and Bulls remain locked on points. The Stormers higher on the ladder, though, because they have more wins. As we look at the top six, the Chiefs now clear-cut leaders. The Stormers sit second, with the Brumbies leading the Aussie Conference third. The Bulls take the first of the wildcard spots, and it's now the Highlanders and the Crusaders making up the top six. Week 10 kicks off at Eden Park. The Reds are up against it now. They take on the Blues from 5.30 and look to